Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul Neil, as always, and I'm here to speak about the latest on Ryan Johansson. A lot of articles going around saying that he's pretty much uh, gone from Ireland um, and is poised to go to Sweden. So the, I just spoke to his mom on the phone there, and the latest um, in the developments is basically um, Luxembourg told him that if he didn't play a competitive game, like a first team game, for Luxembourg, he was eligible to play for Ireland. Now, at the time, he didn't have a passport, an Irish passport at that point in time, but played a, a your underage game for Luxembourg. So, there's an issue with FIFA where basically he had to have an Irish passport in his um, possession. So, his mum's, uh, he's got his both his grandparents are Irish. So that's where the Irish link comes from. Um, as mam has an Irish passport, and I've just been giving all these details from his mother there on the phone. Um, so basically, it's going to come down to he still really wants to play for Ireland. Ireland was his preferred um, national team that he did, he did declare for. Let's not forget he did declare to play for Ireland now, just before he knew this uh, issue came up. So... Basically, what's happening is is that uh, the FAI basically have to go to FIFA and appeal the case. Um, his mom said they've got a really good chance of getting it appealed. Um, she, her friend was a is a judge, and um, they've sent emails over to argue Ryan's case to play for Ireland. So his number one choice is to play for Ireland. I think it's important not to get um, it confused that. People are trying to say, oh, well, he's trying to get away from playing for Ireland. That's not the case. It's basically, it's going to come down to what FIFA say. If FIFA agree that Ryan can play for Ireland, then he will be playing for Ireland. It's just a simple, uh, well, it's not simple. It's it's going to come down to that, really. It's uh, it's going to be one of those things that the FAI are going to really have to get, make sure that they have all the paperwork right, all the you know just just have that house in order which i'm hoping that they they will but ultimately that's what it's going to come down to people are saying that he wants away from Ireland. that's definitely not the case i literally just got off the phone from, from his mother just a second and um that's the latest in the case like she, uh even his dad is trying to fight for him to play for ireland so that's basically the latest in the case like i mean he played in the audi cup Final there against Spurs the other night with the likes of Taliso, Kingsley Coleman, you know, all these players. Uh, and he was playing against obviously Spurs. Uh, he played against Arsenal as well. Uh, he made his home debut in the game against Spurs at the, at the Allianz and obviously swapped shirts with uh, Troy Parrott after the game. But that's basically uh, the latest on that. So um, once I hear any more, whether it's positive or, or negative, Regarding Ryan Johansson, I'll let you guys know. But uh, I do think it's important to not start going online and giving the lad abuse because he hasn't done anything wrong. And it would be very wrong to do that because, as he said, he's come out and declared for Ireland. It's not like he's declared elsewhere. But it ultimately comes down to FIFA's decision. So I don't know if you're religious or whatever, but start saying your prayers if that is the case. And... Um, some people might not care at all, which is totally fine. But um, that's basically the update at the moment. So let us know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll speak to you all soon. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. And drop a like on the video. Thank you. See you soon.